John here, guys, and today we're talking about the Shark Bite system as they're about to release a new HD set of goggles, and it's only going to cost $250. But I'm a little confused at this release, and I'm really hoping to spread the word before people start putting their money down on why these goggles may not be for you. Yes, it may sound attractive initially, the $250 price point to be able to buy into digital FPV, but make no mistake, the SharkBite system is not as reliable or it doesn't have the range or the penetration or the quality or the recording quality as the DJI FPV system. But John, it's a fraction of the cost, isn't it? Yes and no. I wouldn't say that SharkBite is a beginner-friendly video system at all to buy into. The most beginner-friendly is going to be DJI, probably. Uh, the most cost-friendly that people are going to want to start into is going to be analog. So where does that leave SharkBite? Somewhere in the middle. It's not as reliable as DJI. It's not as affordable as analog. It doesn't have the range or the penetration of either one. The units themselves seem to be fairly breakable. Um, now, before you think that I'm just trashing the system, I'm not. They have a new HD0 camera that's coming out that looks very promising to put it quality-wise very close to on par as DJI. In fact, I've actually bought my own VRX unit right here. I'm going to be running it with Fat Shark's HDO2 goggles right here. But the frustrating thing is that this setup is still a little clunky. Like I have to connect a bunch of pieces to get this to sit on the front of this. And now it's heavy. Um, the DJI goggles are not comfortable. They're heavy. They're clunky. They feel like a soggy wet diaper hanging off the front of your face as most box goggles do. So what does Fat Shark do? They give you a box goggle. What? 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 And as much as we all make fun of DJI for looking like a box goggle, it's not actually a box goggle. It does have two screens in there, but these guys are going to sell you a $250 screen with a plastic box around it. And the biggest problem that I have with that is that there's no module connection. You see right here, I have a rapid fire analog module. I can take this rapid fire analog module out and plug it into my DJI goggles. Now, you know how much that functionality cost me? $12. For a $12 um, piece of equipment, I can adapt any analog quadcopter to my DJI goggles. And for basically no cost, I can put an analog module into this Fat Shark HDO goggle, connect it, and now I have digital and analog in one. So digital analog in one with a top tier set of Fat Shark goggles is about $770. Digital and analog in one with the DJI goggles is about $580, much cheaper. So you can get digital only if you can even consider Shark Bite as digital. Like it, some people say it's more like analog plus. The look is not that great, but this new HD0 camera does have a lot of promising offerings. Speaking of that, HD0 or Divi Math, who actually has helped develop the Shark Bite system, seems to be distancing themselves from the Fat Shark name. The new round of products is really being referred to as HD0 or Divi Math. You're seeing that name. It's always been um, produced by Divi Math, but I think they may be frustrated at Fat Shark. And Fat Shark really, with the release of two beta products back to back, the original Shark Bite uh, system that was called Bite Frost, and now Shark Bite. Now people are saying, well, it's only super unreliable because you were supposed to know that it was a beta release and that you are essentially paying to test for them, not the other way around that it normally works in most other tech industries. That's super frustrating because I don't think it was very clear uh, for a lot of people, at least the people in my town that bought Shark Bite. Uh, some of us tried to warn them because we had seen other people buy the Bite Frost system and literally got left out in the cold. So we were afraid that that was going to happen with these guys. And of course it did within two weeks of the two people in the Houston crew that bought this Shark Bite system. Both of them were back on analog within about two to three weeks. 
Um, one of them had several problems with the VRX unit itself, had to send it back a couple of times. Uh, the other one had issues with VTXs. Neither one of them was flyable on the night spot. In fact, they were flying so little time that there was very few of us, including me, that actually even got to check it out and to take it for a ride. I never even got to try it. Um, so I had to pony up my own money. Now, I do think that the system has gotten a lot more reliable, a lot more stable, and now is the time that I'm willing to buy it in and start testing for you guys. I don't suggest that you guys buy in unless you're still willing to accept a beta product for a full price price point. And I don't think that's necessarily fair. Now, why I think that this new goggle offering is really a fumble is it's more of the same. Fat Shark delivering to you some of what you want, but not all of what you want. And they've done that for many years. That's been their standard practice. They give you the same old goggle shell year after year with no power button with all these extra cables everywhere, with a crappy DVR that makes your footage look like a backup camera from a 1997 Toyota Previa minivan. It's absolutely disgraceful year after year that they keep releasing this. Now, Fat Shark was the only game in town for many, many years, so they could get away with releasing a half-release product and selling you a new pair of goggles every year. Well, now we have Orca, and Sky Zone on the market. And guess what, guys? When new people come with a new set of fresh goggles, they ain't coming with Fat Sharks anymore because these $500 set of HDO2s still have a DVR that is complete garbage. The DVR on the Shark Bite system is complete garbage. Everybody says that does fly Shark Bite. Well, if the image in your goggles looks awesome. It's just a DVR that sucks. Well, why are we paying for that? Why are we paying for that? Part of what's so great about DJI is that the DVR is actually usable for uploading. You don't necessarily have to have an action camera if you're not selling the footage. And why does Fat Shark think it's okay not to spend the extra probably less than 10 bucks to put a better DVR on there? So Orca has a quality DVR. Um, DJI goggles have a quality DVR. If you have analog going to there, you're going to get better DVR than these $500 set of analog goggles. And Skyzone seems to be the most popular goggle now. So Fat Shark has lost all of their goodwill with the FPV community. They are now, as far as I'm concerned, third place in analog goggle manufacturers now behind Orca and Skyzone, who I think is at the top. And Orca has decided, it's, at least it's been said, that they're going to stop um, supporting new updates to their current Orca goggle. Even still, I would still put Fat Shark below them. This goggle that costs $250 is going to be digital only. It means that you can't connect to analog in any way. There's no input. There's an input on DJI. That's why it's so easy and it only costs $12. There's no input on this. So if you are going to be an average FPV user, you're going to need two or three or who knows, ever knows how many sets of goggles um, to get all your flying done. With DJI, you could basically just have one goggle and do analog and digital. Um, the same thing with this set up with the Fat Sharks or Sky Zones or whatever, but this costs three times more. I just don't know where you guys are going. Why didn't you put an input on this HD box goggle that you're trying to sell? Why even make a budget HD goggle in the first place? Beginners have no business messing with the Shark Bite system. And I'll say it again. Beginners have no business messing with the Fat Shark system at all. If you're messing with the Fat Shark system, you gotta know what the risks are, that everything could break at any moment. You have to know what the risks are, that there's only a couple of products on the market compatible. You have to know what the risks are, that your DVR is gonna look like garbage. You have to know what the risks are. And beginners don't have a business messing with that stuff because they're gonna get turned off when they have a few failures, they're gonna exit the market, and you're pushing these people in the market that are going to be buying your products for many, many years prematurely because you're putting out these half-baked products. And it's time that we just say stop. I'm not saying abandon the Shark Bite system. I'm buying into it right now. But stop as a company releasing products that are only half-baked for your customer base. 
We have other options now and we're choosing them. We're choosing DJI even to fly analog. We're choosing Orca. We're choosing Sky Zone. We're no longer choosing Fat Shark. And I think Divi Math is right for distancing themselves from that name. Divi Math seems to be doing some really cool stuff. They're actually the ones developing the, the Shark Bite system. I'm really excited to check out that new HD Zero camera. It looks like a viable alternative to DJI. Even though DJI is very reliable, it's very robust, it's very durable, it's super hard to get. And the latest Polar camera releases are absolute trash as well. Well, so you can't even get the DJI, which is one of the reasons why I'm willing to start testing this system. Now, I do have a lot of high hopes for it, but I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry this was just a bit of a rant, but I just, I don't know what this is. I don't know what's going on here, who this is for, who should actually buy this. Do you think anyone should buy this? Are you going to buy this? If you are, let me know in the comments below. If, like me, you're tired of Fat Shark giving us half products year after year and you're just tired of buying them let me know that too thanks guys